Uh, in this uh, example, we want to use binomial theorem uh, to find the coefficient of x cube in the expansion of 2x plus 3 to the power 9. So, let me write the binomial theorem. Uh, binomial theorem. Now, binomial theorem is used. Binomial has come from the word i. Binomial means two terms. When you're expanding two terms, this is a very useful form uh, theorem. We're not going to prove this. Uh, the theorem is, if you want to write, oops, if you want to write this in a, the general form is, if it is say x plus y to the power n, it is x plus y to the power n is n choose 0, x to the power n, y to the power 0. Now y to the power 0 is 1, you don't need to write this. Or uh, the next is n c 1, x to the power n minus 1, y to the power 1. I wanted to see the relation between n minus 1, 1 and these two. The next term would be n c 2, x to the power n minus 2, y to the power 2, and so on, okay? And then you will get uh, finally n c, uh, n c n, x to the power 0, y to the power n. Now, this is the first term. This is t1. Okay, now, before explaining, before doing that, let us look at what's the relation between n and 0 and these two. So if you look properly, you can see this power is this minus this, or n minus 0 is n, and this exponent comes from here. This is n minus 1 and y to the power 1. So in other words, the power of x is decreasing from n to 0, and the power of y, or the second variable, is increasing from 0 to n. Okay, now, you know this is the first term, so that is t1. Now, if you look at the relation 1, and you've got 0 here. This is t2, and you've got 1 here. And this is nothing but t3. So the general formula to find a specific term, you want to find the coefficient of x cubed. You can do one thing, you can expand the whole thing and then get x cubed. That will be it'll, that'll take a huge amount of time. So if you know this elegant formula, tr plus 1 is equal to nc0, nc0 times x to the power, oh, I should write not 0 here, yeah, ncr to make it general form, ncr, x to the power n minus r and y to the power r. Okay, so here, yeah, if you put say 0 here, yeah, that's your first term, that will be uh, R is, suppose, let me explain this, suppose, let me use a different color uh, of black here. So, if you, R is 0, if you put R is 0, this implies you get T1, which is your first term, is NC0, X to the power, uh, N minus 0 is N, and Y to the power is 0. I hope you can see the first term. If R is say 3, if R is say 3, this implies you get T4, the fourth term, would be NC4, NC, this is your third term, oh, NC, NC3, sorry, the NC, let me use this instead of 3, if suppose R is 2, if R is 2, this implies applying this formula, this will be T3 because 2 plus 1 is 3 is equal to uh, this will become NCR, R is 2, that is NC2, X to the power, then you have to simply take this N minus 2, Y to the power 2. Can you see this relationship here? So this is a very elegant formula. Okay, so if you want to find one specific term. We don't want to do the whole expansion. Okay, so what's the question? You want to find the coefficient of x cubed. Now, if you expand this, somewhere as you expand, one expression will have x cubed. Can you see the power of x cubed? 
you have x to the power 9, then you've got x to the power in the first term, or t1 will have x to the power 9, then you have got x to the power 8. Okay, so how can we solve this? So let me change color. So I, what I'm saying is, your a, suppose your x in this case, uh, okay, so here, your first term, your first term, or uh, your x is, when you compare this with this, okay, let me write that, comparing with the general formula, comparing with general formula. Okay, can you compare this x with your 2x, and y you can compare with 3, okay. And so you can say, okay, my x can be compared with 2x in the example, and my y can be compared with 3. And my n can be compared with, or compared to 9. Okay, so that's one comparison. Okay, now you want to find the general, okay, writing the general formula. Can I say t r plus 1 is equal to uh it will be 9C, 9C, R. Your N is 9 here. So can you say 9C, R? Your X is 2X. 2X to the power 9 minus R. I hope it's clear. And Y is 3. So 3 to the power R. Okay. Now, <coughs> you want the coefficient of this this to be what? You want the coefficient of x cubed. That means this has to become which number? If you want the coefficient of x cubed, this number has to be 3. Does it make sense? If this becomes 3, you can get x cubed. Okay. Okay, so let me write that. To get the coefficient of x cubed, the coefficient of x cubed. This implies 9 minus r should be a 3. Then only you will get x cubed. Okay. So if you make r the subject, you can say 9 minus 3 is equal to r, which implies r has to be 3. So you got, so let me rewrite. Okay, so you got n, your x is 2x. Your y is 3, your n is 9, and your r is 3. So let me write the, rewrite the formula. T r plus 1 is n c r x to the power n minus r y to the power r. So let me substitute the value, changing color. So t, your r is 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Your fourth term is n is 9. So 9 choose. 3, the x is 2x, okay, I should have written a now I'm thinking, so x is 2x, so 2x to the power n minus r, so 9 minus, 9 minus 3 is, uh, what am I doing, n minus, or uh, 9 minus, uh, I'm doing some mistake here now, Oh, 6, yeah, 9 minus 3 is not 3, 9 minus 3 is, I was wondering what am I doing, so it is 9 minus 3 is 6, it's 6, yeah, okay, so this will change, so you have got um, a 6, uh, if R is 6, this will be 7, okay, so it's always good to check, it was not making sense, let me use black, so it is 9C, 7, Oh, sorry, 9C, R is 6, uh, and 9 minus 6 is 3. Now it makes sense because then only you'll get an X cube. And uh, your Y is 3, so 3 to the power 6. Am I making sense? So this will give you, okay, so let me complete it now. So T7, your 7th term, is 9C6. So you can use a calculator. There's a formula for but I'll show you how to do it in your calculator. You go to your run menu, okay, then you go to option, uh, 
f6 probability yeah so this is ncr so you go 9 choose 6 that is oh sorry <laughs> 9 c6 so 9 choose 6 is 84 so this is 84 times this is 8x cube times 3 to the power 6 so 3 raised to 6 which is 7 to 9 so this is 7 to 9 so t7 your 7 term would be this times this times this so that is 84 times 8 times 7 to 9 which is a huge number for 89,888 for 89,000 888 x cube okay so the coefficient is this is the coefficient for 89,888 see you in the next video